Troopers are shocked after a baby is killed and five children are injured during an early morning fire, while investigators say their mothers were at a nightclub. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen has an update on the investigation. The fire started just after 2 in the morning at the Hickory Lake Apartments. When I looked out the window, I seen all the lights. Then I seen the news people. I said, oh my God, somebody probably did. And I ain't mean to think of it like that, but I've been here five years and I've seen the most. In total, six children were in the apartment as flames erupted. Eight-month-old Dream Jenkins lived at the apartment and she died at the scene. Five children under the age of six were rescued by firefighters. Four of them were visiting from Linden, Tennessee. The survivors were rushed to the hospital. Jenkins' 23-month-old brother is suffering from life-threatening injuries. That breaks my heart very bad to know a baby has passed in this fire right here next to, next to me. Emily Hester says their community on Apache Trail is upset. It really hurts. The 23- and 25-year-old moms were at a nightclub, according to police. The moms told police they were supposed to have a babysitter, but there was not one there when firefighters arrived at the scene. I can't even imagine. Investigators believe the fire started in a corner where there was a candle burning, but it remains under investigation. Two people nearby saw the fire and reported it. A six-year-old boy was also seen running out of the apartment, screaming his siblings were inside. We're praying for him because that's something that is a detriment to anybody. Nadia Garrett says she's worried the children will be forever impacted by the tragedy. I know that's going to be something hard to take. As arson investigators look into the circumstances surrounding the fire, residents are hoping the surviving children will pull through. I hope they do. I pray they do. I ain't, I ain't no hope no more. I pray they do because that, that bothers me. It really do. Reporting in Antioch, Alexandra Cohen, New Channel 5. For the most part, the fire was contained to one unit. However, around a dozen units may have water or smoke damage. The American Red Cross is assisting families in need at this time.